What's up, guys? Hope you're all doing well today. And look, we're talking about She-Hulk episode 5 today. This is my spoiler review. And look, you know, episodes 2, 3, and 4 of the show, I think, are actually really good, really solid. Episode 1 I liked, but uh, this episode follows the lawsuit that Titania brings to She-Hulk because... Uh, She's using the name She-Hulk, and Titania trademarked it for her for her cosmetics line. Uh, that's what you follow in this this episode, and uh, I did not like this episode. Uh, this is the first episode of the show that I just think is completely throwaway. Um, they could have they could have wrote it completely different. Like the the ending of the last episode, when we find out that she's being sued, just cut that out. And she's like, oh, what a bummer way to end the episode. I know. We must have a fun tag or something like that. It was a cool little fun little joke. But uh, this episode, it just really it just really went nowhere. I mean, she wins the case. What did you think was going to happen? Of course she's going to win the case. And and she brings all the guys back from, from the people that she was dating on her on her dating profile. That she, that she was with to help her win. Um, it's it's okay. It's it's a little silly. It's a little goofy, and it's it's just a little underwhelming. I mean, there's only one episode of the show left now, and uh, it it really just uh, it's, it's, this one was kind of a bummer. I thought they were gonna give us Daredevil in this episode, and not just th- shoehorn him into the final episode. Um, which it seems like now they're going to do. I hope that the last episode is going to be at least like 40 minutes long. Hopefully it's not just another 30-minute episode. Because, I mean, if you're going to bring Daredevil into this, you know, and and finish the show in whatever way you're going to finish it, uh, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't feel rushed. Um, you know, we see how she she gets her, her new new costume, her new suit, her new work suit, and the other suit that we see her wearing and and some promotional material. It's like purple and white or something like that. I believe that's going to be the second suit that the guy gave her, Um, which, you know, it's cool. We get to see where she got it from, but she could have got it from anywhere. And I just think it was kind of ridiculous how we, we go to the boba shop, Okay, we go behind the scenes. We we want these special shoes or whatever. I don't know. It was just like it was just like one pointless thing after the other, just to get her name cleared in a way, you know, so she she's not bothered by Titania anymore. And look, from from when we see her at the end of the first episode, you think, oh well, maybe this will come back. Maybe maybe this will go somewhere. And uh, this is really it, you know. I mean. Can we expect her to come back in the next episode, the final episode, and wreak havoc? I don't know, because she does have some f- sort of superpowers. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the finale. I mean, th- this is like the calm before the storm. We're, we're re-watching or watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier now, and episode five of that is very much the calm before the storm. But but it's also character building. I mean, I'm really loving that show. It's becoming one of my favorite MCU shows. We only have one episode left. We're gonna do that today. But um, but but this, yeah, complete throwaway, Com- complete throwaway. So guys, what did you think? Did you watch episode five of She-Hulk? Um, are you disappointed like I am? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on all that. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Look, I got reviews coming in the future for Pearl, the X prequel, and for The Woman King, starring Viola Davis. Also, we got reviews for Disney's live action Pinocchio remake, a spoiler re- video. I kind of go in depth on what's really wrong with that film and a bunch of other content up on the channel you can check out. And guys, you could also follow me on Twitter, RyanKing72, and Instagram and TikTok at KingArises131. And guys, that's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my spoiler review for She-Hulk, Episode 5. And until next time, over and out.